Connor, just give us a little bit of the background to this case and why there's been such a big political row about it. How does the justice system deal uh, with prisoners who self-identify as women? And that is uh, something that the First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, has uh, been taking questions on in the last uh, few minutes. This case centres around... Imagine just being a dude who's like stuck in a prison with other guys for life in prison. And the next day you find out, if you just say you're a woman, you get access to pussy. Yo, there was... There's a... But that happened though. There's a guy that there's a guy that that says he was he self-identifies as a woman. Got into got into the woman jail. Got two is pregnant. No, no, no. That's not what happened. That's not what happened. What happened was a woman got other women pregnant. I'm sorry. You're right. I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. A woman got women who have uteruses pregnant. Okay. That's what happened. You're right. I remember reading that headline, and I, I just saw woman gets women pregnant, and I just went, "Bro, 2022 is a wild year." <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how much this gender stuff goes forward, I just every time I see these kind of, I just laugh. Man gives birth, and I'm like, "What to a dookie?" They're like, no, a baby. It's like, oh my god, stop. A, a double. Uh, who attacked two women while they were known as Adam Graham a number of years ago. Uh, and they made the decision to transition uh, while awaiting trial uh, in that criminal case. And they're now known as Isla Bryson. And they are controversially being held in Scotland's all-female prison, Cornton Vale, in the Stirlingshire area. Uh, the Scottish Conservatives... That is... That is... Better than a good lawyer. You found the loophole. Bro, what's up with these ladies with Superman jaws fucking doing all this extra shit, bro? Because they want to do this other extra shit. This has nothing to do with trans people. It's people, it's people uh, taking advantage of the loophole. Sure. Right. But how do you know that? Well, th that's a convenient thing. You, you, say, you say that. And maybe this is true that some people will take advantage, but you can't have every criminal who's trans happen to all of a sudden not be trans anymore because you don't want it to make, you know. Bro. Bro, 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 bro. I can't be sure of that. Okay, so you don't know what it is. No, I don't okay, know. Okay, okay. Listen, she, 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 she said what she is, so use the right pronouns. That's what it is. I never, I never said the opposite. I will use the right pronoun. Will you now, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> I just zoomed in on her. I was like, zoomed ah! in. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, yeah! it, it was frozen on this shot and it just kind of fucked me up, you know? Yeah! <laughs> Will you now, nigga? <laughs> Now, we are told that Isla Bryson is in segregation at this moment in time, is not within the general prison population, but that has not stopped the questions, and certainly the response from Nicola Sturgeon has been clear. She said, I don't know how it's possible for a rapist uh, to be in a female prison. Wait, why not? What's the issue? If she's a woman, then throw it in that prison. I've been told this. What? If a woman or anybody feels like they're a woman, then they are a woman. That is the ideology you've been sold yeah, to that's me. What, that's what you don't have to put on makeup. Nope. You don't have to change the way you dress. You nope. don't have to go through any gender nope. reassignment surgery. Nope. If you say, then you are. And, you and if that is, and you if that is the barometer, if that is the barometer, mm -hmm. you cannot take that away from this mm -hmm. person just because they've done criminal activities. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm trying to say? I get you. So for me, there's an incongruence there with this whole thing. And it's a fucked up thing to say, but if you really believe in this whole transgender stuff, the way that they sell it, then you have to say that this person belongs in a woman's prison. Well, a prison is a dangerous place. Nobody cares about whenever there's a man in danger in a, dang in, in, in a, male, in a male prison, no matter what they did, whatever, whatnot. It's a, it is a dangerous place no matter what. Basically, actually, the punishment of going to prison is a bit that it is dangerous. And you don't have like all your lively your livelihood and all all, all your your yeah. You, so the, the one of the premise of the prison is that it's it's that. Let's yeah. be honest, okay. So whenever you wear other people that are like criminals, it is gonna be dangerous. So if you like you said.
In that pretty feisty exchange in Edinburgh in the last few minutes, described Isla Bryson as a beast, uh, and they said that Isla Bryson should not be kept in that uh, women's environment where uh, other women are being incarcerated at the moment. I will say some trans women look like their idea of womanhood is performative. Like they go to that 90s Hello Barbie look when they want to become women or quote unquote women. They go to the most stereotypically overly feminine, unrealistic, overly glamorized look. When I see them. when I see some when I see that I'm like drag. I, I don't know what it is. It's just something I noticed where it's like some part of transness also means reinforcing gender stereotypes to the nth degree. Yeah. Bro, do you want to know the truth? You want to know what I really think? And this is something I just came to the realization. This whole like idea of like gender expression and all this mm -hmm. other stuff. I don't, I don't give a f It's whatever you mean. I don't but mean. listen, for me, the whole idea of gender has always been just linked to biology. That's how I've always used it functionally. Right? The when I take the idea that a woman is a woman, what I'm saying in that moment is like she generally on average is gonna be physically smaller than men, mm -hmm. not as strong mm -hmm. as men, capable of giving birth, mm -hmm. you know. Ass and titties, okay? I'm going to look at those stuff. That's always been the functionality. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I express... Like, listen, when I say I f*** women, what I say like that is I don't f*** people who express as... We that are biological females, understand me? So for me, the idea of womanhood and femaleness have always been interchangeable. All this talk about, well, the outfits I wear and the kind of name, like, I don't give a f*** about none of that shit when I think about what a woman is. So you ask me... From Like when I think of women's sports, I don't think about gender expression. I just think about their biology. The old use of women my whole life has just been for people who are females. So for me, the two words are pretty much the same thing, to be honest with you. Bless me. That was something that charities were saying uh, over the course of the last uh, few days. And quite crucially, Nicola Sturgeon was clear that Isla Bryson will not continue to be incarcerated in a women's prison here in Scotland, will not continue to be housed at Cornton Vale. You know what's fucked up? If she shows up to a men's prison looking like that, Dangerous. Uh, what she did to other women is about to be done to her. I wonder, I wonder, as a means of survival, how quick do you think she about to change up her look when she find out she's going to a dude's prison? Oh, quick things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting face tattoos. Quick things. I'm buzzing my hair. Quick, quick things. Quick Somebody things. try to call me Ela again. I'm like, sorry, it's a lie. Shit. What's up, nigga? I'm making my voice even deeper. I even play none of that. Scotland's all-female uh, prison. It's unclear, I think, at this stage exactly where Isla Bryson will go. And, of course, it opens up further questions about what happens uh, with the rest of Scotland's tran uh, population. <laughs> Is that her before? Face tattoos and shit? <laughs> her before i think that's her before <laughs> she goes to the male prison as soon as she found out what the judge said she said hey, well, that dude's butt's good. <laughs> where's the umbrella ella aa where is it yeah all of a sudden she got face tattoos oh that's funny uh, we're just showing you uh, an image here of adam graham who carried out uh, these attacks uh, when they were known as Adam Graham. There are 15 trans people in Scotland's uh, uh, prisons at this stage. To put that in context, there's a wider population of around 7,000 uh, prisoners. Now, the Scottish Prison Service has been clear throughout the course of this that they make these decisions on where each and every prisoner should be held on a case-by-case -case basis. I'm not going to lie, that sounds a little bit dicey. It sounds like... It ain't enough to just say you're trans. You're going to have to do some proving. In which case, I think that's fucked up. Yeah, it is. I think that's fucked up. Because you don't make you, don't, you don't make no proving nowhere. And that's, yeah. what, that when it, when, that, that, that's what I said earlier. Whenever you said, no, no. Whenever you say, the person has to say that they, if they feel like they express in a certain yeah. way, they don't have to do nothing. They just have to no, post up, pre-op, doesn't matter. And, now, and, now, and I said, and they don't have to prove it. Yeah. And now you do. Because if you think about it, gender reassignment surgery is actually pretty expensive. It's not accessible to a lot of poor trans mm -hmm. people. So if someone feels like they're trans mm -hmm. and therefore they want to go through that transition, them not having access to all <coughs> that surgery stuff shouldn't preclude them based off the ideology you subscribe yeah. to. So whenever 
whenever you say because of that case, when you say, well, now people are going to have to prove it now, yeah. now you are actually um, being um, you discriminate against trans people. Yep. That's what you're doing right now. In order to be fair, they need to discriminate. Ain't that fucked up? In order to be fair, because of a trans birth, they need to discriminate trans people. Hey, that's the, that's Cash the, 22. Uh, firstly, in general, any prisoner who poses a risk of sexual offending uh, is segregated from other prisoners, including during any period of risk assessment. Uh, secondly, there is no automatic right for a trans woman convicted of a crime to serve their sentence in a female prison, even if they have a gender recognition certificate. Every case is subject to rigorous individual risk assessment. And what this says, and I'm going to just, because right. this is all like blah, blah, blah. Basically, what she said is, just because you're sharing trans woman doesn't mean it's true. And trans women are women with an asterisk. Ain't that what I said in the beginning? Because a woman would never have to go through this. Trans women do because even though they subscribe to this ideology for clout purposes, the truth, or who knows? I actually don't know why they subscribe to this ideology. But even though they claim to, the reality is they're willing to rescind that person's womanhood based off whatever criteria they deem fit. And I'm going to be honest, if you feel like gender is an internal thing, which nobody on the outside can see, we have to therefore believe what they're doing is essentially denying that, that idea. That's what they're doing. And, As I understand. And, and, and that's what I said in the beginning. <clears throat> no. When I said, well, you know, that's not a trans thing. That's oh. just a, and then they doing that. If you're asking me personally what I think, I have no problem with this stuff because I don't believe that trans women should be in women's prisons. But I'm also not an idiot. If someone is a trans woman and they are being sent to a male's prison, like that ain't a good existence either. I think it's very similar to women's sports where I think there's very few um, good solutions to this problem. And I also want you to appreciate throughout all of this, almost like a forgotten child, we don't even know what happened to trans men. Who? <laughs> Thank you for watching today's video. Let's know what you guys think in the comments below. Is it real <laughs> You know, it's like, when, it's like when that family's traveling and then they go like 10 hours to like some northern camping area. Yeah. And then they realize they forgot one of their children. Yeah. Like the home alone thing. Who? Kevin. That's trans. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>